What's up guys? It is time for the top three. That's right, the top three comics from last week's new comic book day. And then we got some doozies this week. Some really good books from last week. And we're gonna talk about those right after this. What's up comic book fans? My name is Bruce Moreau. And I am Stephanie. What's up comic book fans? My name is Bruce and welcome to the channel. And guys, I'm missing my table. My table is downstairs being used right now for school. So I am free, free balling it right here. I got the eight books that I was supposed to read. I didn't read all eight, I only read five. Why did I only read five? Well, I just ran out of time with school and everything that's happening right now. I just, just didn't have time to read the eight. But of the five that I did read, they were amazing. So it was hard to choose my top three, but we did, or I did. And I'm gonna talk about those right after I ask you, are you guys subscribed to the channel? Now what are you doing? Get yourself subscribed, hit that bell notification so that way you guys are notified when Stephanie and I upload new content to the channel or when we go live, we go live every single Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern on Comics and Beer. It's a one hour live stream where we talk about all things comic book news related. We drink some beers, try to remember <laughs> to rate them uh, and just have a really good time. We also do some trivia every single week. And if you answer those, um, answer those questions, correctly and you're the first person in chat to do so you get an entry into our end of the month giveaway and this month's end of the month giveaway is all 10 issues that's right all 10 issues of something is killing the children what yes all 10 issues of something is killing the children plus an original drawing by werther daldera himself Big giveaway, we're super excited. So make sure you tune in this Friday because this Friday is your last chance to get entries into that end of the month giveaway. All right guys, that's enough blather blathering. Smash that like button and let's jump in to my top three books. Before we jump into my top three books, I just want to go over the books that I did not read and the books that did not make the cut. And first up is Wonder Woman 762. I had to look at it because I actually haven't read any of the current run. Um, and I, Stephanie and I picked up 762. 59, I believe, is the first book of the new creative team, and we just wanted to jump in to the new creative team and see what's going on. So we have three or four books to read. So, did not read. Uh, X Factor number three, did not read because I was not at all excited about it, and I didn't want to waste any time reading it uh, that I had, because I had very little time. So, did not read. X Factor number 12, I did want to read this, I just didn't get, get around to it. This is one of the few books, or a few X books, that I actually really, really enjoy. Yeah, so I just haven't had a chance to read this. Uh, next up, we have Batman and the Outsiders number 16. This is the second to last issue. The next issue is the last issue. This was a really good read. It just got beat up by some other books. But definitely, uh, if you can, pick this up and trade because this was a really good book. I think Brian Hill and Dexter Soy did an amazing job on this book. Next book up is uh, Web of Venom, Wraith, Wrath, whatever it is. Number one, written by Donny Cates. This was actually a really good book and it almost made the cut, but it... Did not make it. Did not make it. So what is in my top three? All right, the first book that we're gonna talk about is Red Mother number eight. Yes, number eight. This is written by Jeremy Hahn and art by Derry Luckert. I would say the last hmm, four issues have been so brutally slow, so brutally slow. Stephanie and I considered dropping it, but we are big Jeremy Hahn fans. We think he does some really great work and it's just, this was taking so long to build, but this finally had some action in it. And it was paced really well. Things were moving. There's some, there were some interesting elements happening. Uh, we got some of the cult stuff happening. Uh, yeah, it was just a really good book. The art by Danny Luckart continues to be one of the big selling points in this book to me. It's just some beautiful artwork. It really, really is. I love the way he draws the monster and the monster was in this. Um, and yeah, it was just an action-packed, uh, or at least action-packed for Red Mother book. And I really enjoyed this issue. Yeah, that's all I really want to say about it. Action-packed Red Mother. Can you believe it? Uh, but yeah, definitely check this out. Um, this was probably, if I had to rate them, the third book of the week. My second pick was DC, or Dark Knight's Death Metal Trinity Crisis. I really enjoyed this. So this is written by Scott Snyder and art by Francis Manipal. Um, this was a big fatty book, nice cardstock cover, it's nice and shiny. Uh, but why I enjoyed this book so much was because it was, or it is 
written by Scott Snyder himself. So this ties in directly after um, Dark Knight's Death Metal 3, and it just kind of continues that plot point and what's happening, and it was just really, really good to see what happens after Dark Knight Metal 3 and what is happening moving forward. Um, and we get some great character moments um, with Jaro. Jaro is so good. Uh, if you don't know who Jaro is, Jaro is um, a piece of Starro. Starro is the like, big, um, starfish creature that can like poop out or spit out little tiny starfish and then mind control you. But this is a tiny version of him because he got destroyed trying to save the multiverse or, or at least our universe from Perpetua. And Batman has been, you know, raising him and he thinks he's like Batman's son and the next Robin and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life and I absolutely love it. And yeah, it's just, this was well paced, well written, and I loved the action with King Robin in it. It was just such a good book. I really, really enjoyed this. I love how it ties in perfectly to Dark Knight's Death Metal. This is not a tie-in that's just kind of like a random story. No, this is all the main characters and what's happening with them. So that's another great part of this book. It actually means something to the main story. It's not just a random tie-in. Um, and the artwork by Francis Menopal is beautiful. Um, Francis Menopal is not one of my favorite artists. He's no Jorge Jimenez or Greg Capullo, but his artwork is beautiful. Um, it does not distract from the story at all. His panel layouts are great. His action moments are great. Um, so yeah, it's just great art, great writing, great story overall. Must pick up. And this is my top two book. And if you know Stephanie and I, we're huge fans of James Tinian, James T or Tinian the Fourth. He's such a good writer, and this book right now is one of the hottest books, in our opinion, on the planet. We're doing a giveaway that includes all ten current issues, one through ten, and that is something is killing the children. Number ten. This is written by James Tinian the Fourth, and art by Werther Deldera, the amazing Werther Deldera. Thank you, Werther, for your generous gift to us to give away to you guys, uh, which is the art print one I'll put right here. Uh, but this is one of the best issues of Something is Killing the Children. Stephanie read it before Comics and Beardless last Friday. I didn't read it until Saturday or Sunday. It's been a very, very busy week for us, but holy guacamole, guys. Holy guacamole, this book is so good. So the pacing of this issue was bonkers good. Holy moly. Um, and just the overall story elements in this issue are so, so gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, the baby monsters are coming to feast on everyone that's in the school parking lot that is waiting to get into the morgue, which they've made out of the gymnasium. There's kids there, there's parents there, and these monsters obviously prefer, prefer kids, and there's kids all over the place while their parents are waiting to get in line and everything. And Erica knows this, and she's trying to get her... Um, I totally forget. I should have looked this up before I started recording, but the this character um, who we've seen in the last two or three issues, um, she, he is trying to kill Tommy uh, because he now can see monsters because Erica helped him see monsters, monsters, and he's trying to clean up that mess that Erica made because they're not supposed to let oh a normal human see the monsters. Um, but then she, Erica, intervenes and Erica uh, convince him, convince him, him to go help her try to stop all the baby monsters from killing everyone in the school. But it is just gorgeous. And Werther Del Dare's art is absolutely mind-blowingly good. There's one panel where Erica realizes what's gonna happen. And it's just one panel of her face. And we normally only see one eye of Erica. And it's just, it's dilated, it's huge, and she's just freaking out. And it's just beautiful. And this book is just, again, Guys, if you're not reading, pick it up and trade because it's going to be very hard to find the single issues and just get caught up. Uh, maybe you can win the 10 issues from us this Friday. Tune in the Comics and Bear this Friday. But hands down, this is the best book out right now. Holy shit. It is that good. But those are my top three books. Um, great week in comics. I only read a few, only five books that I read, but those all, all those five were really, really good books. I can't wait to read X-Force. I'm gonna power through um, X-Factor and just and, and decide if I'm gonna drop it or not. Most likely I'm gonna drop that. Um, and then try to catch up on Wonder Woman. I have a whole box over here that is just full of books I need to read. Mercy and um, Philadelphia. There's just, I don't know, Turtles. <laughs> There's just so many books I need to get caught up on. But guys, uh, yeah, top three. 
something is killing the children. Um, Christ, or what, I already forgot the name. Trinity Crisis. Really, really good book if you're reading Dark Knight's Death Metal. Ties in a lot of stuff. And uh, the other book was Red Mother. Yes, Red Mother number eight. Make sure you're reading that. Uh, it was, this book was, this issue was awesome. Uh, that's going to do it for this, guys. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Wednesday, we're dropping our first comic book shop review. Um, it's a fun little video. It's more, more of a vlog style where we went to two shops out in New Jersey. Check them out. That's going to be hit, um, hitting the air, airwaves. Is that what this is called? The airwaves tomorrow. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys said about those three books. Were those three your top three? If not, let me know what your top three were down below. Guys, have a great DC New Comic Book Day, which is today, which is Tuesday. Tomorrow is my new comic book day for Marvel, DC, and Indies.